everyone. Steel Horse here. I'm on old stream and I've got a couple of tips uh, and ideas about uh, animals and difficult terrain that hopefully will be uh, a little bit useful. Uh, they come from, I spent quite a bit of time playing single player on this map and I looked at this area and it's it's typical of many maps where you buy a field and in this case field five uh, and you get this kind of semi wilderness next door now of course if you like logging you can clear it out but you're still left with terrain that's uh, not really suitable for uh, cropping and if you go into the landscaper uh, you can create all sorts of weird results which in fact i did the first time however uh, i've since discovered that there's a few things you can do with animals that aren't immediately obvious uh, and with that in mind uh, two mods which uh, cross play so they work on console and pc fenceless husbandries by cookie cat and outdoor pastures by camelos 0397 uh, work well in this situation and I've used them similarly now on uh, many maps and so if we have a look at an animal husbandry uh, we can see that like so many placeables if you try to put it down even on this flattish field the first thing it wants to do uh, is level out the ground and if I try and put it over here of course it has a heart attack with all the trees and uh, shrubbery and everything else uh, that's there so if you're not persistent uh, it's going to dissuade you right from the outset however if you wanted to put it there you could turn on free mode and it would let you place it uh, and if you don't want fencing, uh, you could go ahead and do that. But if, like me, you'd want a fence in this particular situation, then my suggestion would be put the front fence in first because it's very difficult to fence this husbandry closely after you've placed it. And so if you picked your front fence and just say let's grab some barbed wire and say well we want to leave some space from the the track here maybe we run our fence sort of a across from say here across to the other side go round and just check that that's yeah, so that something like something like that's sort of reasonably parallel to the or at right angles to the field next door. Let's just bring it up a little bit further here. All right, so we can put our fence down like so. Don't put any more because if you haven't made it long enough, you can extend it afterwards. Uh, the main challenges are in the middle and. The best next step is um, just to do a little bit to deal with the quirk of the husbandry. So what I've found uh, with these husbandries is, or these pastures, um, in particular the fenceless ones, is the water trigger for those that require water is just a fraction low. And to deal with that and to deal with the aesthetics at the front the simplest way i've found is to do a very small amount of landscaping and we know it's going that water trigger is going to be around about here somewhere it's kind of just off to the right of center of the screen and we need to make sure that the land is low and we level that off which we can do with the fence there. We can bring it out like so, so that we've just got flat section for our troughs. And so then when we go ahead and take our husbandry and try to position it, the first thing we notice um, is that if it's over the fence posts, it'll lift up in the air. But as soon as we get on the other side, that drops down. So that just helps us with the guide as to where to 
position it. We can get the angle on our right hand side here sort of right. And when it's pretty much in position where we want it, if we hit the V key to turn on free placement, we can put it down. And if we go and have a look at it, we can see that the hill's very much intact. All the trees are still there. It's only taken out the bushes and just replaced it with a short grass. And we've actually done a pretty good job on this side. So if we then wanted to finish the fencing job it's actually much easier now because we've got a really good idea of where this is sitting and we can run all the way to the back corner there and come all the way across to here I'm just going to do this quickly. You might take more time if you were concerned about making it perfect. Uh, but that's our now our fenced husbandry. Now we can turn the grid off. We can immediately have the animal dealer send us over uh, some livestock to put in it. Let's put half a dozen or so Angus in for now. So they're grazing quite happily. So if we get in the tractor, now the moment of truth. I'm very confident about feed points, but will we be able to activate the water trigger? So let's just see here as we roll across it. And yes, we have. So that's worked a treat. So we'll put some water in there. Back up a little bit. We can put our bale down. And now if we go and check, our animals are healthy on hay and away we go. So there you go, there are some cows on previously unused land without major modifications. 15,000 for the pen and another 12 or so thousand uh, for the fencing. Now you might say, well, that was a pretty easy one and you probably could have flattened that out. Let's pick some more extreme real estate up here, perhaps, right? Somewhere like this. So, well, the same process applies in this particular case so let's use the outdoor pastures by camelos now in those the same uh, rule applies you need a flat section uh, somewhere for your troughs um, they are already plumbed so they're not as sensitive to the water so you might like that as a perspective but if we said well ac across here Let's put in, just be sure, and I like to sort of do about five circles worth and go in about two, just to give us a nice pad of working room there. And if we come to our, we can do sheep this time. Uh, there's a medium sized sheep pen. It holds 45. Uh, we need to be able to make sure that on our flat area is where the spawn point for the wool is. Uh, it's got a little shelter there, which is the feed point. This one likes to click to sort of the five degrees. Uh, but the same process, pressing V for free mode, 26,000. So it's got its own fencing. So you can see it's roughly in the same neighborhood. And there we go. We've got a nice little section all set to go. Again, we can put our animals in. Let's grab some mountain sheep because it's a bit mountainous. Oh, did I not select them? I probably need to pay for them. That's the, that's a good start. And now we have some sheep. You can see that the water's all plumbed in for this one. So that makes it easy. 
But looking at it on the hillside, we've made no major modifications, yet we've utilised that space beautifully. And if you were in a position where these animals were previously in your yard, then you've now freed up valuable yard space for another shed or um, to extend an arable field. And we'll just finish this one off. You know, if it was me, I'd run a little track up the side so that I could get in and out to get the, the wool, but we can drop this off quite happily here. Off our forks. And our animals are fed. And there you go. So. That's our hillside pastures. Uh, with no logging required. Hope you found that useful. Uh, until next time, see ya.